Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. I am here today to formally announce a long-term project that I'm going to be working on, on not just my Twitch channel, but also to a lesser extent this channel as well. Now, when I say project, I don't mean Let's Play, and I don't necessarily mean a single stream playthrough either. What I'm going to be taking on is a much larger and longer endeavor, but it's something that I've really taken an interest in doing over the past year, and it's something I've really, really wanted to try. And I figured, why not give it a shot? If it doesn't work, I can at least say that I gave it an honest attempt and had some new gaming experiences in the process, with nothing really lost in between. And if it becomes something, who knows, it could end up being my internet magnum opus of sorts. Anyway, let's get to the breakdown. My own inspiration for this project comes from the likes of two content creators who I've been spending a lot of time at their Twitch channels recently, Fabeast721 and Mr. Underscore Shasta. Fab is doing a challenge where he's playing every N64 game in existence, and he means all of them, including Japanese-only games and games released outside the North American region. He streams his progress on Twitch and even releases weekly episode summaries for each of the games he's done for his challenge on his YouTube channel, which I'll link the playlist in the video description if you'd like to check it out, along with his Twitch channel as well. Mr. Underscore Shasta is doing pretty much the same thing, but with the Nintendo DS instead, which is a much larger library. He's not doing the video summaries either, but still, it's been a lot of fun checking out his progress and his chat is very welcome in a chill community. So, it's been a lot of fun for me. There are many other content creators who are doing challenges of this nature as well, and you can pretty much find them for every system or console that exists out there. I just picked my main two inspirations for this to highlight, but believe me, there's a lot of people doing this. So, you can probably see where I'm getting at with this, and yes, I would personally like to get in on the action as well. And when I was thinking of game systems to cover, there was only one that was surprisingly in the forefront of my thoughts, and that system is the Game Boy Advance. I really respect the Game Boy Advance for a lot of reasons, even though I wouldn't say it's my favorite console or handheld. You see, a large amount of my teen years was spent playing the GameCube and the Game Boy Advance, and when talking with other gamers of that time period, the GameCube was definitely seen as a bit of an inferior console. However, there was surprisingly not a lot of shade thrown the GBA's way though, and in some cases I saw people praising the handheld more than even some of the PS2's library. So despite not being a true console, it was definitely a juggernaut of its time. Also, I feel that with the Game Boy Advance you get a pretty nice mix of everything from various amounts of different game genres, doses of really quick shovelware, to even some long epics and RPGs that have some real meat to them. I feel like we'll get a nice bit of everything from this system, from the good, the bad, the interesting, the weird, and even the meme-worthy. Also, I'll say it right now, I have no plans to actually get and purchase all of these games, so emulation is gonna be used for this. In fact, that's another reason why I wanted to choose this system, just because, hey, the Game Boy Advance is probably one of the best and easiest systems to emulate as it is. Now, let's talk about length and duration of this project. There are over 1,500 Game Boy Advance games. I don't think I've even played that many video games in general. That's also including every single GBA game, which I think I'm going to limit myself to just the North American releases. I may include some bonus games from time to time if they are easily accessible and have good translation patches, stuff like Fire Emblem 6 or Mother 3 for example, but for the main part of this challenge, I think North American releases is more than fair. Plus, there's still 900 games on that list anyway, which is quite the large number, so it's not like I'll get through too quickly or anything. Also, for how I'm going to cover this, I think I'm going to be taking the The Beast approach where I'll be streaming this on Twitch, but over time I'll do videos where I talk about each game and my progression through each game for the challenge. And those videos are the ones that will be posted here on YouTube. The reason I want to do it this way is that over time I may end up discovering some games that I want to do a Let's Play for. 
Hell, there are games already for the GBA that I want to do Let's Plays for that I haven't yet, and not to mention games I've already done. And I think it just makes sense to keep those playthroughs separate as to not cause any confusion. Also, if it's not obvious, I'm not going to be going for 100% in all of those games, just enough to consider beating them, unless I want to showcase some extra content or something, and I feel like it's manageable. It'll obviously be a case-by-case -case basis for some games. Stuff like Donkey Kong Country and the Mario Advance games, sure, because I know the games that well, and I know 100%ing them won't take too much extra time. But I'm definitely not going for unlocking Leon and Fire Emblem Sacred Stones again, or beating all the Battle Frontier stuff in Pokemon Emerald. Which, that probably brings up another question. Games I've Let's Played or streamed before? Yes, I would be playing them again, but I have considered potentially giving myself a bonus stipulation for those cases. Like, maybe with Advance Wars I'd do the hard campaigns, or with Pokemon I'd do a Monotype run or a solo Pokemon run or something. Just something to keep the games fresh without me necessarily just doing the same thing again. We'll see though, we'd actually have to draw those games first after all. Speaking of which, as far as the game order is concerned, I would be doing this in a completely random order, but also doing series with multiple games on the system in a progressive linear format. In other words, if I draw Golden Sun The Lost Age before I draw Golden Sun, I would do Golden Sun first anyway. I think it just makes more sense to do it that way, just so we can compare the games as they've aged on the system over time, and also not get lost through story and continuation weirdness. I think I might also draw 10 games at a time as well. This way, I can mentally prepare myself for upcoming games if I somehow get a bunch of RPGs in a row, and might need to slightly reorder them if I don't want to get stuck with Burnout. This will also allow me to do research on certain games to find out if they are part of a series and if I need to do another one first, and not to mention if they are even available or playable in an emulator format, or if I need a specific version or application to play a certain game as it is. Looking at you, WarioWare Twisted. But yeah, that's pretty much the breakdown of this project. I'm sure there might be more things to figure out and discuss as I go through this, but I am honestly getting pretty excited about attempting this. I am quite certain that some of you guys are worried about burnout though, and don't worry, I think I'll have this covered. You see, my main days for covering this project would basically be during my normal Tuesday and Sunday stream time slots on Twitch anyway which during those times is when I typically play through games that I hadn't played through before as it is. So I'm really not making any major changes to what I already do. Also, with Mario Party Friday also on hold, that does open up another day as well that I could potentially use. The only things that would take a bit more extra time would be the video summaries, which would typically be what I already do for my Animal Crossing abridged videos, but these videos would already vary based on how short or long the game in question would be and how much I have to say about it. I don't plan for the summaries to be over every minute of gameplay, just over the important stuff, so it probably wouldn't be too much of a bother. Also, even though this will be a long-term project of mine, one that will likely take years and years of my time, I will definitely take breaks from it. I'm thinking about alternating every two months, where two months I work on this project, the next two months I stream some other games on my backlog, then two months of working on the project again, you get the picture I think. Who knows, if this really takes off and I enjoy doing this, maybe I'll even open up some bonus stream time slots, or maybe I could get some extra help with the outside production stuff, if I can find someone who'd be up for that anyway. Like I said, this is just something I really want to try out, and I'm not really sure if it's something I'm going to end up committing to long term, but I would like to give it a shot though. As much as I love Let's Playing, I know that Let's Plays have definitely decreased in interest over time, and people are a little more interested in this kind of stuff instead. Hell, I'm even interested in the idea myself, which is why I'm so eager to try it to begin with. Anyway, back to my point. I honestly don't know how much longer I will be Let's Playing. And when that time comes to an end, it might be nice to have a project to fall back on. And I guess that's another reason why I'm interested in trying some new things. I'm thinking about the future and trying to capitalize on not just what's big or in right now, but also passion projects like this where I have so much to say about something that theoretically hasn't even started yet. 
I hope that makes sense and you guys aren't worried that I'm just trying to change my content up too much or trying to bite off more than I can chew. Like I said, I do want to stick to what I've always been doing. I just want to try some other things along the way to see if anything sticks or clicks with me. If it does, then hey, I have something to aim for. And if not, at least in this project's case, if I don't see it through the end, I can at the very least say that I've played a bunch of new games in the process. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm proposing here. Now, Mr. Underscore Shasta calls his series Nintendo DS Destruction, so I was trying to think of a cute name for my project as well. I could go with the obvious and call it Game Boy Advance Annihilation, but if you guys have any better ideas for a name, I'd love to hear them. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Slim, you've gone over all the details, but when is this thing going to start? Well, very, very soon, in fact. And for those wondering if that's not concrete enough, how about this? At the end of my stream on Tuesday, August 13th, I am going to do a special section of the stream where I draw the first 10 games of this Game Boy Advance challenge. I'll go through the games, figure out what the order is going to be for those games, and essentially from that, that will be what I'll be starting with for this particular challenge. And the gameplay of the Game Boy Advance challenge will officially start on Tuesday, August 20th. So, there you go, folks. About two weeks remaining before this project can finally get underway. I know a lot of people have been wondering when the hell this was going to start, but again, I just really had to figure out all these details and make sure I was mentally ready for this. So, hopefully this is enough indication to let you guys know that this will finally be starting very, very soon in just a few weeks. Anyway, thank you everyone for listening to my spiel. I hope you enjoy what I have planned, and maybe in the future we can all enjoy some nice handheld goodness on the Game Boy Advance. This has been Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for listening, and I will see you guys for the start of this very, very soon. Later, folks.